Ow. Ow, 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 ow. Ron, stop moving. But it hurts. What happened? A sprinkler head blew off and hit Mr. Krolak in the ear. Cool. We found the sprinkler head. No sign of the ear. Relax. Your ear is right here. It's just a little scrape. Eh. When I hired you to install my sprinkler system, I assumed you were familiar with the process. It just blows sometimes. It's the landscaping industry's dirty little secret. That's why my life insurance costs so much. Wouldn't it be cheaper to just buy a wrench and tighten the sprinkler heads? <laughs> oh, you've got all the answers. <laughs> you know, I'm looking for an insurance agent. Your guy any good? Doug's the best. You need life insurance, Bobby? Might not be a bad idea with you putting in my lawn. <laughs> I'll tell him to give you a call. How about you guys? You happy with your life insurance? Oh, yeah. My policy's so good, every morning when I wake up alive, Linda says, Damn. What about Linda's policy? She's the one supporting the family. You can be replaced by a nanny and a box of fish sticks. You should call my guy. I mean, you ever think what would happen if Linda, you know, took the one-way bus ride to Dirtville? As much as I love being the center of attention, can we stop talking about me dying? Wait a minute, he might have a point. You're the probate lawyer, what do you think? I think we should change the topic. Uh-oh. Bobak, did you turn the timer off? Once again, when I hired you to install my sprinkler system... Incoming! You got a Yellow Pages? <laughs> Away from my door. It's a free hallway last time I checked. <laughs> You're just trying to bug me, Max, and it's not gonna work. You're just trying to bug me, Max, and it's not gonna work. Jake, come back here. You have to clear your plate, remember? I did it yesterday. <laughs> no, I asked you to yesterday, but you didn't. You're a big boy now. These are things you have to do every day. Come on now, pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. Okay, I will pick it up and I will put it in your hand. Now go scrape it into the trash and put it in the sink. Come on, scrape it in the trash, put it in the sink. Scrape it in the trash, put it in the sink. Okay, we will scrape it in the trash and put it in the sink. Here we go. Okay, you can take it from here, plate man. Honey, go eat. Let me deal with the little darlings. What's up? Max, stop standing with your nose against your sister's door. Wow. How'd you know that? I know you. Once you find a bit that you think is funny, you run it into the ground. But she was bugging me first. But she was bugging me first. And you stop slamming doors. You know better than that. And stop giving her the sad monkey face. Hey, hey, hey! How come you're throwing out the plate Jake made for me? He and I are working on a new concept. We're not done. I know he was only three when he drew this, but when I'm covered in pancake syrup, this is exactly what I look like. 
No, I gotta go. Uh, remember, we got Rod's insurance guy coming over this afternoon. Oh, no, 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 not today, honey. I am swamped at work. Can't you do it? Hey, I'm swamped at work, too. I've got four loads of laundry, two bathrooms to clean, not to mention several high-level meetings with the mayor of Poopville. <laughs> Laundry, thanks for reminding me. Can you go to the dry cleaners today? I just went yesterday. I know, but I forgot to give you my blue suit. It gives me the big power shoulders. You know I need that. Why? You got a big game against state? <laughs> sure, I'll go. Mm, thanks. Mm. Mwah. Love ya. <laughs> and I love you, too. Mwah. 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 Honey, I think the mayor's ready to see you now. <laughs> so, you say Linda's an attorney? Uh-huh. It must be nice to have a wife bringing in that kind of money. Oh, it's great. It allows me to do what I do. I thought you were unemployed. <laughs> no, I work at home. I I'm taking care of the kids. Oh, terrific. <laughs> unemployed. <laughs> you know, I just don't understand how a guy can stay at home. But to each his own, right? <laughs> have you had much luck in the sales industry, Doug? <laughs> For your information, being a stay-at-home dad is one of the most rewarding, satisfying things a man can do. Hey, don't make me come up there! <laughs> okay, let's see what we have here. <laughs> okay, now, based on Linda's earning potential as an attorney, her policy should be in the half-million-dollar range. So we are looking at a total annual premium of... Have I mentioned that Linda doesn't smoke? Or fly a stunt plane? <laughs> I don't think we can afford this, Doug. Oh, well, there's, there's an easy fix. I mean, since Linda is the sole wage earner in the family, we could just cut your insurance. Get rid of my life insurance policy? <laughs> no, just cut it way down. The, the good news is, as a non-income producing spouse, there would be no loss of revenue in the event of your death. <laughs> so what? You're saying that now that I'm staying home taking care of my kids, I'm worthless? I'm not worthless, Chris. <laughs> Just worth less. I mean, who does this clown think he is? Did I tell you what he called me? Uh, let me think. Uh, yeah, 50 times. He called me a non-income producing spouse, Linda. And then he just shortened it to nips. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to you, the guy was just trying to get me riled up. Really? Did it work? <laughs> you be a good boy today. Oh, looky here. Another credit card application for Linda A. Woods. Platinum, pre-approved. $40,000 credit limit. Oh, boy. Something for me. Ooh, value coupons. <laughs> Oh, wait, these can't be for me. I have no value. Chris, I'd love to stay and hear you rant some more, but if I'm still standing here at 8 o'clock, I'm gonna have to bill you. Wait, before you go, you have to sign these insurance forms, otherwise you won't get your big fancy death benefit. Uh, I can't read that now. Okay, I'll take it to work and read it there. You don't need to read it. I read it. Did you check the fiduciary addendum? Fine. You want to read it? Read it. <laughs> so, Chris, you'll stop by the pharmacy, right? I still don't understand why you couldn't have thought of that yesterday. No, Is it a problem? Well, it's just that it's all the way across town. It's right by the dry cleaner where I was yesterday when I dropped off your suit with the big blue shoulders. I know, I do it myself, but I'm up to my butt at work this week. Oh, Linda, you're up to your butt? Well, guess what? I'm up to my nips. <laughs> Fine. I'll go to the pharmacy myself. No, no, I'll go. Thank you, Chris. <phone rings> yes, Linda Woods. Uh-huh. Right, we'll just have Jeff pull the file on the charitable trust, but don't have him distribute it till I get in and review it. Chris Woods. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Well, let's just assume that's the way we'll proceed. And if there's a problem, I'll get back to you. Jake, Montgomery wants you to bring back his slinky dog. Hey, 
Hey there, neighbor. Heard you guys over here. Thought I'd pop over and hang out with the guys for a while. Just celebrating the completion of Bobbick's sprinkler system. Rod, you get hit by another sprinkler head? You look like a Doberman puppy. <laughs> here, a cigar. A reward for a hard day's work. Thanks, Bobbick. It's for your wife. <laughs> Man, I can't remember the last time I smoked a good cigar. Mm. And Barb hates cigars. If I want to smoke at my house, I have to stand out on the back porch. And I'm not allowed to light it. When my wife was alive, she had crazy rules, too. Like, no bait in the refrigerator, period. Mm. <laughs> and you know what? Didn't bother me. She just didn't know what it's like to be a man. I hear that. Here's a perfect example. Last Thursday, I'm stuck at a job, and I missed dinner. Barb's all over me for it. No, uh, thanks for supporting the family. Mm. No, I appreciate that you're working. No, uh, what happened to your chin? <laughs> all that matters to her is that I'm late for meatloaf. Not her fault. They just don't get it. They don't get it. There you go. Of course, you could have called her and told her you'd be late. <laughs> I mean, when you think about it, Barb was doing a little work herself on that meatloaf, which can be a tricky little entree. My secret, a half a cup of cocktail sauce. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is, meatloaf doesn't just happen. None of the work around the house just happens. I mean, how do you think the, the, the cereal gets in the cupboard or, or the tubs get clean? It's not magic. I mean, it's someone's work. Why doesn't anybody get that? I'm sorry. I mean, is it too much to ask for a little acknowledgement? A little appreciation? I said I'm sorry. <laughs> You're sorry? Don't tell it to me. Tell it to that poor, cold, hard meatloaf. He never stays long. I like that. <laughs> It's open. I am just suggesting that when you meet another pregnant woman, there might be a more appropriate greeting than doesn't this suck. <laughs> Fine. I'll go back to nice knockers, fatty. What are you doing, Chris? Making waves, ladies, making waves. <laughs> Listen to this. I've been doing a little research about the value of the stay-at-home parent. I've talked to chauffeurs, maids, nurses, private soccer coaches, all the jobs that we do. And then I added up all the salaries. And ladies, would you like to know just how much what we do is worth? It's about $600,000 a year, more or less. You know this? <laughs> Chris, every woman in history who has ever stayed at home knows this. And you've done nothing about it? What is wrong with you people? We have to make a stand here. We, we have to rise up. The prophets told of a leader who would come forth in the last days. <laughs> it's not that we wouldn't prefer more recognition. It's that we have chosen to dedicate our lives to our children. There is only one payment in this job, Mr. Man, and it is in the little moments that you spend with your kids each day. But people should know how hard this is. They should care. Chris, I have a little saying that might help you. It goes like this. If you're looking for a reward out there for what you do in here, point your finger straight ahead, then make a U-turn toward your head, and suddenly it's all clear. What are you, hammered? Nice try, Max, but I'm not signing my door. <laughs> you know, if you want to hear a door slam, you could slam your own door. But I guess you're afraid Dad will get mad at you. Yeah, right. Oh, it's okay to be afraid, Max. You're only 12.
nothing. <sighs> Hello there. Hi. Did I just see something? Did you just clear your plate all by yourself? You said to do it every day. I, I did, yeah, but... You listened? Can you teach me how to snap? Sure, sure. The trick is you let the second finger hit the third, like that. Yeah, you'll get it. Then you can get all fancy and do this one. Uh -huh. <laughs> you keep practicing, buddy. You get it. Daddy has to go back to work. Hey. What do you got to do to get dinner around here? You got to be here at dinner time. <laughs> I'll eat you up something. Chris, honey, I'm sorry about yesterday. Me too. And I know you've been dealing with a lot of stuff this week, and so here. Guy flowers. A dozen? They're so beautiful. Oh, oh and they smell wonderful. You want one? Sure. <laughs> yeah, I was going through some stuff this week, but I'm okay now. Mm. I'm glad, honey. Yeah, I had a real breakthrough today. It was like an epiphany. I realized that if you're looking out there for them to get what it is, you should just do this. Because the world doesn't get what it's like when you're the person who stays home. But that's, that's okay. I get it. I know the great moments I have with my kids. You're pretty lucky. You bet. And I, I know out there can be exciting and, and important, and that's fine, too. But I like it in here. I like the moments. Of course, it's the moments between the moments that can be a real pain in the ass. <laughs> but I'm working on that, too. So how was your week? <laughs> my week? You want to know about my week? Yeah. Anything special? What, you mean like an epiphany? Actually, yeah. <laughs> I had one, too. My epiphany was that I might be, just might be, a sucky lawyer and a fraud and a fake, and that they're gonna realize that any day now and fire me. Whoa, 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 what are you talking about? I swear, it came to me clear as a bell. See, I'm a 34-year-old mother of four, and that's all I've ever been, a mom. And then suddenly, this week, with all this talk about life insurance, you know, it hit me. I really am supporting this family. And if I screw up, I'm going to mess up the lives of five people who I love so much and who are depending upon me. It's just all on my shoulders. That's why I need the blue suit with the big power shoulders. Oh, Linda, honey, come here. I'm sorry, honey. I'm such an idiot. No, you're not. And you're right. It is great in here. And those moments with the kids, oh, I know those moments. And I don't care how big my salary is or if the firm gives me a membership to a private health club or if I spend endless hours away from my family, I might make partner, you know? I miss those moments. You have a membership to a private health club? <laughs> yes. Linda, if you wanted to be back home, I would go back to work in a second. I would do that for you in one second, honey. Oh, Chris, I worked really hard to be a lawyer. And you worked really hard to be a mom and a wife, and you're the best in the world at those. Thank you. Thank you. So, I guess it wouldn't kill me to be the best lawyer in the world, too. Right. But if it does, I'm sitting on a cool half mil. <laughs> so, 
move. The kids are home. How come I haven't heard one door slam? I think we're done with the door slamming for a while. Hey, Mom. Hey, hey Max. Max. Hi, big boy. Hey. Mm. Look what Dad showed. <laughs> Dispatch calling all units. Be on the lookout for the hit comedy, Battery Park. Show is described as funny and smartly written. Hey, on the outside, we may look like Starsky Hutch, but on the inside, Cagney and Lacey. Very satirical slice of life comedy. People Magazine calls it the show of the week. Evokes the days of Barney Miller. I, like you, am a champion of justice. I am the Hulk. He's got wings and a cape. You don't need both. Battery Park, NBC, tonight after Frasier. <laughs>